Hi everyone, um, Mary and Frankie here. Um, so we're just back from the vet and I just wanted to give everybody an update. As you know, one of the primary things that we were gonna be checking out um, today was his eye and it's not gonna get any better than it is, but it doesn't require a nucleation. So that's good. Um, he, yes you. Yes, you. So we'll keep an eye on his eye and obviously if that changes, we'll reassess it. Um, his ears, so he's had bad mites at one point during his street life and they have essentially destroyed his ear canals. Um, there's a lot of damage in there. Um, he does still hear, but we don't know how much. <laughs> um, His weight is great. He's put on just under a pound. Um, and so we're happy with that. Um, with regards to his very cutie tootie Frankie booty, that one is rather more complicated. Um, and it may not be very good news, I'm afraid. Um, so, there are three possibilities as to why we have gotten so far um, with his poops and why he's having what my husband and I call his little shartles, which is basically where he farts and he poops and he doesn't know at all that he's doing it. Um, and essentially, um, it could be IBD, which um, for those unaware, uh, unfamiliar, is inflammatory bowel disease um, that can be controlled with treatment and it um, you know cats can live a fairly normal life um, we are treating him with some more metronidazole and we're also treating him with some steroids in case it is IVD we'll do that for a month and then we will reassess the next option is um and and you know if there is any kind of bacteria or bad bacteria um or infection or anything lurking then the additional metronidazole, metronidazole <laughs> tablets will knock that out the next possibility uh is cancer um that would obviously require um having a little camera have a look around um, and he would stay with us. We wouldn't look for a home for him because um, that would essentially mean that we would be hospice, um, depending on obviously the prognosis and how far along he is. Um, and then the third option is that because of however many years of intestinal parasites damaging um, his insides, the kind of little follicles um, that exist have been destroyed. And therefore he doesn't know, because he has no idea when he does his little poofs that poop comes out. I mean, he's completely oblivious. Um, and it is a lot better than it was few and far between um so i mean i i you know if it is if it is the follicles have been destroyed there's no cure um if it's cancer we will do everything we can and if the same if it's ibd um so for now i suppose we just wait and we watch and we keep an eye on his ears and we keep an eye on his eye. Um, he's got a special digestive kind of sensitive GI food, which we're trying him with and maybe that will help, which he actually really likes, which is great news. I was a bit worried that maybe he wouldn't. Um, so he's on steroids, antibiotics, um, still gonna keep him on the, um, stuff for his joints, um, the Cosequin, still gonna keep him on. There's my boy with his funny little walk. 
He's funny little walk. Still going to keep him on the um, probiotic. Um, and we're still going to uh, give him some L-lysine um, to help his immune system. He's still too poorly um, to be vaccinated right now. And um, he's still too poorly to undergo a neuter. So um, we're going to keep working on making him better all over. Aren't we, sweetheart? Um, but that is our update. He looks great. He's happy. He's happy. So we'll keep helping him as much as we can. Um, on behalf of Frankie and myself, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's contributed items from his wish list. I can't begin to tell you how much they have helped. Um, his VAT bill was about $200 today. Um, so I'll post that um, later on. Um, I still have to uh, type up Frankie's thank you notes, but they they are on my list just with um, Valentine and Christmas and everything else. Um, I haven't had a chance yet, so please forgive me. And I'm just really grateful for everybody's patience. I will send them along with Yanto's um, Christmas present thank yous. He was extremely, extremely pleased. So, um, I cannot thank you all enough. Um, I would like to get Frankie an automatic feeder, a microchip one. Um, that's what we have for uh, the rest of the cats that we have. And um, especially because he's now on a special diet, etc. That would be super helpful. And also it means, especially with his wet food, which he kind of eats half and then eats the other half um, for the days when my husband and I are both at work during the day. Um, he his food won't go yucky really so he'll get to take his time and eat it because it'll stay fresher in the feeder so i have added that to his wish list and um if anyone would like to help with his vet bill i would be eternally grateful um we're so thankful for every single one of you i can't begin to tell you and i will obviously keep you updated with how this wee man is doing oh and <laughs> he's joined the bow tie club now so uh figaro who is my eldest male cat uh, he's the same age as Frankie, actually. He wears an orange one. Stevie uh, wears a green one. Fwinky wears a blue one. And of course, uh, Yanto wears a red one. Although not during the winter because um, I would not be able to find it in the snow and it would be gone forever. So once he's defloofed um, in the summer, he'll have his little bow tie back on, which I'm very excited about. So um, just thank you again, all of you so, so much for everything that you do for Frankie, for Yanto, for me, for the opening of the menagerie, I cannot, cannot thank you enough. Um, cannot thank you enough. Can we thank you? And if you notice, is very kind of puffy cheeks and he's got like little lumps here that um they're benign um but it is from the damage to his ear canals so that's why his little cheekers are so puffy so you're a mess aren't you my sweetheart but we'll make sure that you're as happy and comfortable no matter what won't we